Alright guys, what I got to show you here today is just simply a um, aluminum metal toy car from the late 1940s, very early 1950s, the car was made, the toy was made. The car depicted here is a 1940s, I believe it's, it's a Dodge. I don't know, it doesn't say nothing on it about the make it was, but I believe from what I know about classic cars, it was a 1948-49 Dodge two-door coupe. At any rate, the toy was made by a company called Slick, S-L-I-K. I'll post a uh, closer up view of that, um, the name inside the toy. Slick Toys, made by Lansing, Lansing, Iowa, USA. It's all aluminum. Just, it's all it is, a one-piece mold. One-piece mold. And as uh, a lot of the other cars I've showed you in the past, many of these cars look exactly the same, made by different makers. The reason for that is the molds, the mold that was used to make these cars back in the 40s and 50s were often um, left behind when companies went out of business and reused by other companies or traded and swapped back and forth from one company to another. That's why it gets a little confusing sometimes with these classic uh, toy cars who made them. Best way I can tell is the type of material. This is all aluminum, one piece. You put a magnet to this, it will not stick. As opposed to uh, other cars, which I've tested and shown you are made of steel. <coughs> so, as you can see, there's not much to this. It's missing the, uh, the split windshield piece in the middle here. Other than that, it's complete. I'm going to try to rescue this old toy, bring it back to life. I'm going to repaint it. The original colors, two-tone white and red. Got to find four tires for it. And uh, that's it. No big deal. It's just a, uh, a mold of a 1940s car that uh, the friend I got it from said he was just going to throw it in the junk drawer and it'll probably never be seen again. So, that didn't sit well with me. I gave him 10 bucks for this car and uh, <clears throat> he was more than happy with that much. This exact car, uh, complete, with the original tires, uh, can sell for as much as $60. I've seen them uh, between $35 up to $60, depending on the condition, the paint, etc. And uh, it's really uh, amazing, these uh, casts that they use. That's why so many of these cars look exactly the same. Because the cast used was uh, left behind by a lot of companies that went out of business and used by others and or traded and swapped by one company or the other. So you'll see the same exact car made by a different company, but the model itself, the cast, is the same. Just different material. So, just want to show you this up close before I start messing with it. I'm going to bring this old toy back to life and uh, make her look like she should. Thanks for watching. Book them, Daniel.